Raise your hand if you've listened to an audiobook recently. A lot of us have. <laughs> On this episode, we're headed to Michigan, where Tim Azzolini has been bringing the creator mindset to the campus of people at Michigan. And what we're gonna hear a little bit about is Tim's next creation event, which is an audiobook. Check it out. In a way that you're modifying your work, you get to go back and edit, and you have I don't know, a very credible new way of saying to new people, hey, I've written this book already, and I have, now I have these new ideas, and I want to add you guys in as support for those new, new ideas into this audiobook. So for me, that's kind of like one of my one of the exciting features I think of the audiobook is a way to to revise to get that new edition out. Tim's done something really remarkable. He's part of a fraternity, and in fact, he's been bringing the creator mindset throughout his entire fraternity experience. So we'll talk a little bit more about how he's using his audiobooks to create what's next, as well as how he's delivering the creator mindset to those around him. Why, like, the audiobook is the interesting next evolution for you, and then a little bit about how we start to attack this one from your standpoint. Um, and then again, I think the fun part is that we'll get others involved in this experience with you. So there'll be a little bit of a cohorting, but I kind of want to use you as the guinea pig to figure out how this as sort of the next phase creation event to continue to take it to the next level. During that time, you, you dive into it, but you're at, you're at the base level still. And I think this is like climbing, climbing the mountain still, and you're getting up to that next base camp. Um, and just with the book, which I, which I like. And so, because I think it's good to stay on, on task with, with what you create, because a lot of people like, all right, I created, the, I did the book, now I just want to go do something else and, or create something else and to stay, like, as you say, keep that, or keep the momentum going. Um, I think it's a good way to do it. And so for me, being able to do this quickly is, is nice because it's not like another huge project. Because of course I do have like other things going on. And so it's just a great, for me, a great way to, to keep networking and, and getting in, getting these ideas out there and, and hearing other people's ideas and being able to compile that into the audio book. Cool. Yeah, and I think one of the things you talked about before is that you, as you went out and have been having more discussions post-book, there is this sort of like question of like, your book has a lot of theory in it, but like, what's the reality of that look like on the ground? And so... Is that kind of some of the direction that you want to do in the next edition, the audiobook edition, to sort of talk about, you know, I always think about what's the, what are we going to put on the cover of the audiobook that says, includes new content such as blank? What is your, what and why are you planning to have in that? Yeah, so definitely the more concrete um, impact of, of the theory. So I had a, these ideas and so I'm thinking, well, this is great. I want to, I'm writing about this. This is kind of my perspective on it. But now, after a couple more conversations and people getting more interested in, in the book and really thinking, well, how does this apply to my work? After, uh, after I've kind of explained to them, they're like, well, this is what I'm doing that is along those lines. And then they say, and this is what you, I see for you that you, you could kind of emulate doing in that sphere of what you wrote about. And so, but that simply is pretty much just like, here's what you can do to keep going um, to do that and like professional. I think it's exciting. I'm excited to sort of sort of see it. <laughs>